champions are champions because they master the art of getting back up. Now, no matter what you do or how much you prepare, at some point in your life, you are gonna get knocked down. But see, for the legends, champions, warriors, and for the overcomers, no obstacle, no trial, no tribulation, no situation is strong enough to keep them there. With that loss and defeat behind you, awaken the giant within you. How you respond right now will define you. Tap into that greatness on the inside of you. They doubt you, so the world will try you. But don't you let anything deny you. Show the world you still have fight in you. Let them all see that champion inside of you. Let them all see that champion inside of you. Let them all see that champion inside of you. Let them all see that champion inside of you. Hey there, Mr. Bill Poker peeps. Welcome to the vlog. It was really a good week this week. In fact, happy Memorial Day. Uh, we had a wonderful Memorial Day as a family. Uh, Billy and Morgan and Vicky's mom came over. We had probably the best lunch we've ever had in our life. <laughs> I made hamburgers and sausage and Vicky made a fruit salad. It was just awesome. Thank you to all you veterans out there who fought for us, helped us to be free. And thank you to the families who lost people um, a huge sacrifice. Uh, we just are thankful for your family and again for all you guys who are veterans. So you guys who watched my vlog know that a few weeks ago I was struggling and that was uh, with a mental issue. I was really discouraged and down and I started doing something. I started listening to motivational uh, videos on YouTube. This was to get all the negative stuff out of my life because I was being stressed. I was thinking about negative stuff and there's no need for that. In reality, God has a plan. Uh, I'm just a teeny weeny weeny little itsy bitsy minnow in his plan, but God has it all under control and I don't need to stress about stuff that I can't do anything about. But I can focus on me and one of the things I started doing was <clears throat> listening to motivational videos on YouTube, just being positive and all that kind of stuff. I also did something. I'm now sleeping at night with a headphone in my ear and it's playing all night long. Uh, positive thoughts, Bible verses uh, when I listen to the Christian ones, or positive thoughts and soothing music and all that kind of stuff. And I have been sleeping a thousand times better. I've been waking up and being mentally, I am so much more positive and happy. Uh, and I'm usually a positive kind of guy, but the last few weeks were not so great. So it's been a huge, huge help. Uh, I'm going to post some links to some of the sites I've been using. And I would encourage you guys, if you have any of the same kind of issues, to go look at them. The two main YouTube channels that I was listening to are Line of Judah for the Christian stuff and Motiversity, which is just motivational stuff. Uh, I guess that means Motivation University, <laughs> but it's really, really awesome. So if you guys want to share what you do when you need a little extra motivation or when things are going down, uh, maybe you can help other people watch this vlog. I've given you guys what I have done. Very, very helpful for me. But hey, let's get some other uh, input from some others. So this week, Windstar had their uh, River Series going on. And my son Billy played in the very first event. He bagged day one. Very, very good. That means you were in the money. Okay, guys, we're joined by old Billy Willie here. Uh, we played in the Windstar River, which was this week, and Billy played in event number one. Uh, I think that was four day ones, is that correct? Four starting flights. How much was it? Uh, $200. All right. And Billy did well. So I started, um, and I think in the first four hours, I won maybe two hands, <laughs> and I rebought one, so I was in for oh, two right. bullets. I forgot. Um, but then things started going upwards and we ended up bagging above average stack so we made the money and then we're going on to day two on thursday so it was very exciting i was very proud of billy that he got to the money and then of course there was what 24k up top uh yeah about yeah Woo, that's good so billy uh we won't tell you where he came in yet we'll tell you uh but he does want to tell you about a couple hands that were very very interesting on both of them day two right uh yeah so pretty early on in day two, I think it was the second level of the day, um, 
we started the day with 140k um, and we got down to like 90 but so for this hand we were back up to like 120,000 chips which was not that great the blinds are 2,500 and 5,000 um, so somebody in early position opens to 12,000 uh, the button and the small blind call and we're in the big blind with 9-4 of hearts um, a premium 9-4 <laughs> of hearts so we're getting good odds so we call so we go to a flop of queen five six with two hearts. Um, obviously pretty good for our hand, we have a flush draw. The small blind actually leads into the field for a tiny bet of 7,000. Um, and I don't want to raise here into two other players, um, especially the pre-flop aggressor. So we decided to just call and see what happens. Um, and both the other two players call. There's about 80,000 chips in the pot to the turn, which is a nine. So we pair a nine, we have second pair. The small blind checks, I check, um, and the pre-flop aggressor bets 25,000 uh, into a pot about 80, so pretty small. Um, the other two players fold. I have 100k left. Um, I have second pair, but I'm not really, I don't think it's good very often when he bets into three other players. Um, and I don't really want to just check call this hand because I wouldn't know what to do on the river, so I decide to shove all in for 100k. 7-8 got there, I have all the two pairs, everything like that. Uh, so I decided to shove and he thought for a long, long time and he eventually folded. So this hand put me over 200k and it gave me an above average stack so it set me up for a good run. So a little bit later on, um, we had built up a nice stack. I think I was around 400, so we were doing very well. So the blinds are three and six, and I have ace king in the big blind. Um, a player in early position, the chip leader at the table makes it um, 16k, I think, um, and it folds around to the small blind who calls. And I decided to just flat this. Um, we're closing the action. I don't really want to three bet and have him four bet um, on me. I wouldn't know what to do in that situation. Um, so I decided to just call. So we go to a flop of. King 10 3 with two clubs. Uh, the small blind checks, we check, and the pre flop aggressor puts in a continuation bet of about 20,000. The small blind folds and we make the call. So we go to the turn of an offsuit 7. So it doesn't really change anything. So we check it over to him and he puts out a bet of about 35k um, and we make the call. So we go to the river, which is an offsuit nine. So clubs miss. Um, Queen Jack does get there, but um, so we check it over to him. He puts out a pretty big bet for this stage of the tournament of about 75k. Um, I don't really think we can ever fold here or severely underrepped. Um, clubs miss all that. So we make the call, and he turns over pocket threes for a flopped set. So we lose a pretty substantial pot there so this was a massive pot and we obviously lost which hurt our chances a lot uh, it gave this guy a huge chip lead now um, and we just didn't pick up any hands after that for a good couple hours um, so this was the beginning of the end <laughs> So I was pretty proud of Billy though, because he did come in 21st out of over 600 entries. Uh, you didn't get paid a whole lot of money, did you? You like were in for 400, and what'd you get back? Like 800. 800. So two days work for $400 <laughs> is not a lot, but it does say a lot about your ability, and uh, it's pretty it's good, good practice for the World Series. Yeah, and it also gives you confidence, doesn't it? Because there's some really, really good players that play up there. There's some bad ones too, but that's just like the World Series of Poker. Some of the worst in the world, and some of the best in the world. So congratulations also to two other players in our league, Charlie and Josh, who also made the money. You did go the farthest in the league though, right? Uh, yes, I yeah. did. So good job, Billy. Thank you. Hey, I forgot to say congratulations to Rob Jenkins, who also, uh, from our Wednesday Night Poker League, uh, I believe came in 21st in the $400 deep stack event at Windstar. I think there was about 300 players. Not a whole lot of money again, but a good run and a good showing and a great warm up for the World Series of Poker. So because Billy made day two, I thought, hey, I'll take a day off and I'll go up there and I'll play in the $300 with $100 bounty tournament on Billy's day two, which was Thursday. And the table I got to was extremely soft. Um, I was able to take chips 
pretty much any time I wanted to by making a three better arrays. Um, very, very soft. There was one or two guys that were fighting back, but mostly people just let us do whatever we wanted to do uh, in the early levels. I actually late regged and came in on level two, and by the end of level three, I already had four bounties. Holy cow. So I'm gonna go over just a few hands, the bounty hands that I won. So blinds are 100, 200. I'm in the big blind with pocket fours. I have 16,000. The plus one who has 8,000 to start makes it 600. Middle position two calls and I make the call. So the flop with 1,800 comes four, seven, nine. I flop a set of fours. I check the P1 pre-flop aggressor makes it 1,000. The other guy folds. I bump it up to 2,400. He now jams it all in there for a total of 7,400. Of course I snap call. He has ace queen. <laughs> uh, he says something like, oh my gosh, you finally have something. Because he had thought that I was bluffing on every single hand. And I did bluff quite a bit. Uh, and I had to show a few of them. So he was right about that. He certainly wasn't right about this to call with not even a pair. No draws for a straight. Uh, anyhow, easy bounty for me. It's a big blind ante tournament. Blinds are 100, 200, 200. Uh, I'm in the middle position, one with pocket jacks. I have 21K now. The end of the gun limps. Uh, the P1 makes it 1,100. I make the call. The under the gun then shoves all in, but he's only got 4,800 chips. The P1 then goes all in. I think he's just uh, trying to push me out. I go ahead and make the call for the all in also. And the under the gun has ace of diamonds, king of diamonds. The P1 has ace of clubs, queen of spades. I have pocket jacks. So the pot has 23,800 in it. That's a big pot. And it comes jack in the window. Holy cow. Jack, five, queen. The ace queen is drawn slim. The ace king needs a 10. The turn is a 10. So he hits Broadway, but the river, a matching five. So I get the full house and I get two bounties on that particular hand. So that put me in my high for the day. I then lost some hands. I ended up going back to about 25K and this hand happened. Blinds are 200, 300, 300. I'm in the P1 and I look down at the greatest hand ever created in poker, pocket aces. Woohoo, let's get some more bounty chips. So I raise it up to a thousand, the MP2 and the hijack and the cutoff all call. The small blind then shoves all in for 700 and the big blind calls. So on the flop, there's 6,200 in the pot plus a bounty chip from the small blind and it comes three of spades, six of spades, nine of clubs. The big blind shoves all in for 3,200. I shove all in and everybody else folds. The small blind has four of diamonds, five of spades for open-ended. The big blind, he's hurting. He's got six, eight. And the board comes seven of clubs. So the small blind hits a straight. I can still win the bounty for the big blind. And the river is a six of hearts, giving him three sixes. Ace is cracked, table 51, twice in the same hand. <laughs> Man, I thought I was gonna get bounty chips. I didn't get any bounties. No bueno, no bounty chips. No chippies, nothing for Mr. Bill. Pocket aces cracked twice, same hand, table 51. Where's my $100 bonus? Oh, that's in cash. But the very next hand, I am under the gun with ace of spades, queen of diamonds. I have 21K. I limp because I think one of the shorties will eventually shove. There's four others who limp, no shoves, no raises. Ugh. So the flop, 1800 comes ace, eight, four. The small blind again shoves all in. This time he has 4,800 chips. I make the call. Everybody else folds. Unbelievable. I'm up against the dreaded 6-8 again. So let's see what happens. So there's 11,400 in the pot and the board runs out with a five and a nine. So I do eventually collect his bounty chips. So I didn't record a whole lot of hands after that. I got involved in watching Billy and his tournament going back and forth. Uh, I ended up I did well, uh, I didn't get any more bounties, and I went out 31st out of 161, so I didn't make the money. I did get $400 in bounties, and the tournament cost 300, so I won $100, woo hoo. So I then played in a very, very fun cash game. 
I had many people come up to me and say, hey, Mr. Bill, we watch your videos. They had never met me before. One of them was Steve Holsey. Uh, Steve, it was great to play with you. And another one was a player featured on a previous vlog. I forget his name right off the top of my head. I should have looked it up. Uh, but I'm going to put a link to that vlog here. He's a very, very good tournament player. It was uh, last year's bounty tournament, the big one, the $1,100 one that we played together, and uh, very, very good player. But again, it was a very, very enjoyable cash game session. It was casual. It was fun. We weren't playing a big game. It was just 1-3. I ended up winning $150 or something like that uh, in my hour and a half, and then I went home. And that was it for the poker this week. We're gearing up to play in the World Series of Poker. Uh, so very excited about that. Let them all see that champion inside of you. Let them all see that champion inside of you. I had wanted to play in the Windstar main event, but you know what? I did something that was way, way more important, and I spent the entire weekend with my family uh, for Memorial Day. Saturday we went to McKinney and spent all day there downtown and had dinner together and all that kind of stuff. And then on Memorial Day we had a cookout and it was really, really fun. I enjoyed spending time with uh, my wife and my daughter and my son and my mother-in-law and we just had a great time. In fact, it was the first pool day of the year. You can see my pool right back there. First pool day of the year, May whatever, 28th. <laughs> fun stuff. So once again, Billy and I go into the World Series Poker June 7th through the 16th and June 23rd through the 30th. We have our room for June 23rd through the 30th. We don't even know where we're going to stay 7th through the 16th yet. So <laughs> if you guys have any tips on how I can get a good room cheap, let me know, please. So thanks to my son, Billy, for being in this vlog. Uh, next week, it's we're going to have a vlog about my Wednesday Night Poker League and all the players that are going to the World Series and how we expect to fare and that kind of stuff. So I'm kind of looking forward to that one. I've done it each year for the last two years, and it's always a good one. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this vlog. Thank you guys for pressing buttons and watching and subscribing and doing all the things you do. I hope that the uh, motivation thing will help you guys too. It's been a wonderful, wonderful thing for me. Uh, even listening to it at night as I'm sleeping and it's putting positive things into my brain, especially the Bible verses and things like that. So I'm very, very happy I started doing that. I think it's going to be uh, very, very good for me in the long run. I hope you guys will try it out, all right? All right, so I'll see you guys all next time. You have a wonderful, fantastic, blessed week, and I will see you all next time. Bye. Let them all see that champion inside of you. Let them all see that champion inside of you. Let them all see that champion inside of you. Let them all see that champion inside of you.